Hey there, nerds. Jimmy Palmquist here. I've been keeping up with the Rebirth uh, series going on over at DC, and I got to read Action Comics. I uh, never really kept up with Superman. I read when New 52 came out and had Superman. I've read, you know, the classics like the Death and Life of Superman. But uh, never really, I haven't really kept up with him other than what he's doing in Justice League. So I honestly didn't know what was going on. Uh, I really like what they're doing. And this is a combination of Action Comics and Superman with what they're doing. I'm only going to refer to Action Comics. Um, I really, one, simple as it sounds, I like how they continued the old numbering system. So they're in the mid-900s. Uh, That's fantastic. And it might sound so stupid. But uh, I, I want to see the book hit 1,000. I think that's awesome. So I'm excited that they brought that back. Um, I just like how we pick up with the Superman from the New 52 universe is dead. And we have the Superman from the old timeline has been in this world. He, Lois Lane, and their son have been in this world. But they don't know exactly how or why they're in this world. And he's, it's not that he wants to be Superman, but now that the real Superman is gone, or the new 52 Superman is gone, he feels the need to step up, specifically when Lex Luthor shows up with the S symbol on his chest. Now, this is a cool dynamic because the uh, old timeline Superman has a different relationship with Lex Luthor than the new 52 Superman had with Lex Luthor. Obviously, Lex Luthor was in the Justice League and sort of proved himself to uh, maybe had ulterior motives, but he seemed to always want to do the right thing, which is what we see here. We see that the city comes under attack from Doomsday. Uh, Doomsday, I, I love this character. I loved the storyline, the death and life of Superman. Doomsday was not in Batman vs. Superman, just so you know. He was, but that wasn't really Doomsday. Um, but I really like how he shows up and I like how we also have Clark Kent show up. So we have a Clark Kent, we have a Superman, both presumed to be dead. And then we have the Lex Luthor who is sort of at odds with both of them. So to some, uh, somewhat, but really, uh, Superman is at odds with Lex Luthor. So it's an interesting dynamic. I really like where they're going with this. And then of course, toss in Doomsday to, to muck up the works, and it just is fascinating reading. And I can't say I've said that a lot about Superman. Uh, as my buddy Jason Applegate also often says, how can you like a guy who's, a, who's allergic to a green rock? Well, in this case, I think it's a good reading. It's very intriguing. I recommend you pick it up. Action Comics. Uh, honestly, I think it's uh, 9.59 and maybe 9.58 is where they are right now, somewhere around there. But it's the two that have come after the uh, rebirth. So check them out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to give them three and a half out of five nerd skulls.